What's going on? Yeah, man, this title seems very interesting, so I'm about to see what's going on with this. Yeah, music is my favorite thing, and it, it's a subject I would love to hear somebody's, you know, thoughts on. So that's why we, I'm about to watch this video till the end and let y'all know how I feel about what he's saying. Hey, everybody, I'm Rick Beato. We're going to try something new today. This video is on the history of the music business and technology in two acts. Act one. Music is too easy to make. Yeah, the title says the real reason why music is getting worse. Yeah, the real reason why music is getting worse. Okay. All right, so look. Yeah, it's funny, right? <laughs> so, yeah, bro. Um, he said, act one, music is too easy to make. It's too easy to make. What do I mean by music is too easy to make? Let's just go back to the 1940s and 50s. Frank Sinatra used to get up in front of an orchestra and sing a vocal take, and they had one microphone, and they would get it balanced just right. Frank would say, okay, I'm ready to do it, and he'd sing it. Come fly with me, let's float down to Peru. Then you get into the 1960s or so, and then you have things where you have multi-track machines. You could go in if you had a mistake in a vocal part or any instrument, and you do a punch-in. Oh, I don't like that word. I sang it out of tune, or I want to change this lyric. You go in and you just punch in, fix the line, punch out. Fast forward to 1998 with Cher, the Believe song. They invented this thing, Auto-Tune. That I've talked about this a million times on here, but Auto-Tune was a plug-in that would go into these DAWs, digital audio workstations. So you'd have something like Pro Tools or Logic or Ableton. What you do is you take the vocal, let's say the song's in C major. Any note in the key of C major, it would tune the note to. Well, T-Pain and people like that realized if you put it on a really hard tuning, it would make it sound like a keyboard, and that's what they did in the Believe song. Well, then the same thing starts happening with drum parts. Guys play a drum part, and you're like, you know what? This would be a great take of this first verse if this one high end. Nice, 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 nice. That's awesome. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie, though. T-Pain, man. T-Pain vocals was, was good, was definitely good good for the music it was good for the it was good for the world man to hear that type of tunes man I, you know I, I would love to create a record that that can have my voice sound like that bro like i'm you know i'm starting to find find my star my style you know uh in music so i'm gonna keep you know working on it to improve type stuff you know yeah, it wasn't a little drag. Well, let's move it back a little bit or let's move it forward, whatever. And then you move that and you're like, well, the snare after it kind of sounds weird because we move that forward. Now the snare sounds like it's drag. So we do that. Then you're like, well, you know what? Let's just look at the grid lines, the bar lines. We'll just move. Is that why music is getting worse? Sheesh. Bruh, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I, I could, it, it makes some some sense. Amazing. Move them to that. Then you start cutting out moving them. Then they give you this tool called Beat Detective. Then you can actually quantize an entire part. So then it becomes like a drum machine. So it's not human-like. Here's an example of a quantized drum part. It's John Bonham's drum performance from Fool in the Rain that's a shuffle. Here's what it sounds like awesome. as a machine. Now here's the actual human performance of John Bonham. Notice the swing in it. Uh, Once you quantize the drum part, part, it's a drum machine. It's just like superior drums. So what started happening in the year 2000 or so is that everyone started quantizing their drums because the budgets to hire session guys like Josh Freeze and Kenny Aronoff went away and you'd have to use the crappy drummers. I mean, some bands would have good enough drummers to play, but you typically have these crappy drummers that you'd have to fix their parts. And once you fix their parts, you start moving the bass around, you start moving the guitars around, and then you pretty much have sterile, generic, quantized rock music that has no vibe at all. The other thing that people realize is that it's really difficult and time consuming to record a drum set. You need a studio and a lot of gear. Look at all these mics. Now you can put up three mics and get a drum sound. You can put up two mics and get a drum sound, but to get a 
professional drum sound, you tend to mic up the different instruments. I got two mics on the bass drum, I got a mic on this tom, mic on that tom, mic on the ride, two mics on the overheads, two mics on the snare here. I actually have three mics on the snare and a mic on the hi-hat. And I have a couple of room mics. It's hard to record it well. Not only is it hard to play the drums right. well, but it's hard to record the drums There's well and you have to have training. It's too many fucking microphones, bro. It's gonna be staticky. I don't, I don't get that, bro. Like, they nowadays they put microphones on drums and shit. Like, shit is stupid. You need to be playing the drums really loud. <laughs> yeah, man. That, that, that's why some the music can sound like that. There's too many microphones. It's not easy to do. You have a great ear. You got to know how to tune them. You got to know what is a good snare sound from a bad sound. You got to know if the toms are ringing too much. You got to know if they're in the right pitches, all this kind of stuff. There's so many decisions to make. Glasses, now, some of you are out there thinking, what are you talking I, about, I Rick? Glasses, you don't need to have a good it. sounding yeah, room. You can have a crappy eyeballs. sounding room. You don't even need good mics. Because yeah, you're going to just know. replace everything with samples. Yeah, well, where do you think samples come from? They come from people that know how to record them. That one was for free. It's difficult to get a good guitar sound. You have to have a good sounding amp. You have to have good sounding speakers, good microphones that work well. Most people now just use amp modelers. They plug into their computer. They pull up their program. Everything is done for them. They've already been pre mic pre-selected. They're all using the same algorithms. They can create great sounds. They're so easy to use. Doesn't take any skill at all, but it doesn't take any creativity either. Then, of course, you have the MIDI packs that you can buy if you can't play keyboards. So it'll just have pre-programmed chord progressions because for some reason people can't just kind of space their fingers out and learn to play a few chords like that or maybe just experiment huh what is this what is this in the early 2000s labels stopped signing rock bands essentially because it was way too resource intensive it was far easier to sign artists that could make their own music using a laptop and a microphone why is this a bad thing well let's start with the creative dependency on technology limits the ability of people to innovate i believe could be wrong about that maybe it helps them innovate i don't think so though the homogenization of music the over reliance on similar tools as i just brought up with the amp models creates a lack of diversity i think that leads to music becoming more formulaic and people just following trends of using certain types of sounds. This is why these trap beats have been in vogue for the last 20 years. People just, they know they work, so they just keep using them all the time. Quality versus quantity. This is a big, big thing, okay? So the easier production makes the process go faster, which creates an oversaturation of music, making it harder to find really exceptional things, as Ted Joya talks about in this clip. This is Spotify's way of using AI. They have AI songs, they attribute them to people that don't exist, and this allows them to take royalties that would go to musicians and keep them for themselves. On the AI front related to music is too easy to make, I made a video last week called, I told you this was gonna happen, and I played some songs off Udio, and I was saying how my kids could detect that they were AI songs, but other people could not. Well, it just came out, all three major labels are suing AI startups for copyright infringement. Universal Music Group, Sony Music, and Warner Music are suing Suno and Udio for- Bro, the, the industry loves suing people, man. I see, that's how they make their money. <laughs> for real. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm taking out. For real, you don't, you don't want to play with these people, man. Still their stuff, they're going to take you down. For copyright infringement, because guess what? They're using all their music to train these AI models. Well, of course they are. How else are they going to train it? Now, companies like Universal are not doing it for the good of their music to protect their copyright owners. What's going on here is they just announced that they're partnering with a company called SoundLab to make AI models of their artists for themselves. They can use this SoundLab plugin in Pro Tools or Logic, and you can sing your own voice and replace it with one of their artists like Drake or Taylor Swift or Billie Eilish or whoever agrees to this. And I guarantee you all these labels are gonna do that because they want to own the AI versions of these songs, whether you create it or whether they create it, they're gonna own it. 
And just to show you how easy it is to model someone's voice with AI, I'm speaking to you through a voice modeling program called Eleven Labs that was trained on my voice over a four week period. So for those of you that keep writing to me every day, I get about 20 of these a day and they always start, Rick, I wrote a song that I think could be a hit. I used AI to hear it because I know nothing about making music. That's literally from an email I got yesterday. This reminds me of the best AI critique I've seen. Creative AI that I think could be a hit. I used AI. What he's saying. I wrote a song that I think can be a hit. I use AI to hear it because I know nothing about making music. If you are interested in hearing what AI did, I can send it to you. <laughs> okay, okay. That's a good way of reaching out to a label for them to sign you because you mentioned AI. Sheesh. I, hey, but yeah, man, I had a friend telling me, bro, he can put me onto this app that can write a song for me, bro. I slept on it. I never, I never used it. But I don't, I don't know if he still remembers that he tell he told me something like that. This was some months back, man. But yeah, it's, you gotta believe it, man. Yeah, man. But for real though. Yeah, music is easy to make now, bro. And people don't put quality stuff out. So, like... Yeah, man. Because hey, everybody trying to become their own boss, man. And it's not their fault, man. It's the, it's the people that are on top that gave us the game to, to, to do it like that. So, they need to be quiet and keep, and keep getting their money themselves. Instead of exposing too much type stuff, you feel me? AI to hear it because I know nothing about making music. That's literally from an email I got yesterday. This reminds me of the best AI critique I've seen. Creative AI tools can be seen as sophisticated plagiarism software as they do not produce genuinely original content, but rather emulate and modify existing works by artists subtly enough to circumvent copyright laws. Well, what's funny about that is that was actually written by Chad GPT. Act two, music is too easy to consume. So this is the water faucet in my kitchen. But imagine this is streaming on Spotify or Apple Music. You can turn it on, you can turn it off, but what's going on in the stream of water is all of the music that's on these platforms. Now imagine this is one artist's entire output, their entire catalog. Might be the police, could be Billie Eilish, could be Led Zeppelin, the Beatles. And then this dropper is each of their songs. One, two, three, four. Oh, I just did a whole record there. And eventually you exhaust their whole catalog. When I hit this and I start the stream, the music has very little importance if you think about it this way. It goes from the faucet, down the drain, out to the sewer, where it's recycled again. Except in this case, the music is not recycled like it is through the sewer. There were 100,000 new songs added every day in 2023 to streaming platforms. That's... 100,000 new songs every day? Shit! Bro, how can you get a hit if people dropping a hundred... This like the lottery, bro. Like, the music game is... Now I'm learning, bro. Y'all see why I'm, I'm a little sharp, man. You learn it from the best. Man, I'm, you know, this guy is the first time, you know, be viewing his content. You know, but, you know, I'm checking stuff out, man. For sure. Wow, 100,000 a day? Come on, it's like, come on, 100,000. Come on, I want 100,000 in my bank account. Come on, so imagine people dropping 100,000 songs. Come on, bro. Then do you think it's enough for you? But then again, the book Think and Grow Rich said, yeah, there is enough for everyone type stuff. So you got to, man, don't let this stop you, man. Like, keep going, keep going. More than one song. You like dropping music? Keep dropping music, bro. Yeah, you doing it. 
per second for the entire year. By comparison, when I was a kid, what we got to lose, man? We ain't got nothing to lose. It's just the promotion ain't fun, man. I wish when you just drop someone in there, just go like that, man. I want my business to be like that. You drop it on the net, ah, right. viral, like that type of work, man. So you don't gotta. Yes, it's that promotion, you know, people want you to pay them to promote this and that, but that shit, man, that shit ain't cool, man. Nobody want to pay for no promo, man. We know we good, man. Promo our shit, bro. Fuck, we coming up. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> if I wanted to buy this Led Zeppelin II record, I had to get a job or borrow money from my parents to buy it because I wanted to own it. I wanted it to be in my collection. This album here, Pat Metheny, New Chautauqua, I paid eight bucks for, brand new, with the money that I made by bagging groceries at Topps Grocery Store in Fairport, New York. You actually had... Dang, people were investing in music like that. I guess back then, music was, was really important. Shit, for somebody to... But then again, I bought Rich the Kid album before. So, yeah, and... Soldier Boy album before too. Sheesh, yeah, people out here really be spending on records like that. Sheesh. That had to expend energy riding your bike or walking to your job, working your shift, getting your paycheck at the end of the week, depositing it in the bank, getting money out, going to the record store, buying the record, bringing it home, playing it, listening to it a bunch of times, going over to your friend's house, sharing it with them. When a kid opens Spotify and clicks on on a song, they can just skip to the next one if they don't like it. Think about this. All of the music that exists, or at least it's been uploaded to Spotify or Apple Music, is available for $10.99 a month. I'm talking about all of Michael Jackson's music, all of ACDC, Pink Floyd, Whitney Houston, Tupac, Kendrick Lamar, Juice World, Eminem, Dr. Dre, all the works of Beethoven, of Bach, of Mozart, of Stravinsky, of Shostakovich, of Charlie Parker, of John Coltrane, of Miles Davis, Brad Meldo, of Pat Metheny, Keith Jarrett, all of that. $10.99 a month for the price of what we used to pay for one album. It's all available on these streaming platforms, which is why music wow. is not as valued by young people. Mm. There is no sweat equity put into obtaining it, mm. having it be part of your collection, yeah. having it be part of your identity of who you are. These are the bands I believe in. These are the artists that I love, and I'm going to share it with my friends. Yeah, bro, that, that's just how investments is like investment that's just how it is because you can invest in a good trade and then either not take profit and then lose money because the trade would then go back in your favor because maybe yeah, it's this it's like I can relate the music game into yeah, into trading. If you're a trader, you know what I'm talking about, man, cuz trading will make you feel like that. Investing and stuff like you know buying cryptos at the wrong prices and things like that. That's what make people Yeah, man. So like see, that's why I get it, bro. Like I feel like money is just like some little points as you know like when you play in GTA, they have that little score on the right corner right there. You know, you, you know, they show you the money you've been, you, you have been accumulating and collecting. Now, like, so now I feel like, from what I can take from this guy's wisdom and his, you know, game he's given, you know, I we should we should remove our emotions from money, man. We should just do what we love, bro. We shouldn't even attach our emotion to too much things, cause. It's only just going to bring you worries and stuff, you know? Yeah, he's making some sense, bro. Yeah, because it's a lot of artists. You know, I started dropping music. But, but on the real, though, it, it was 2015 when me and my my uh, high school guys decided to hey, create our own music label and get on. So we I've been really after this game for a minute. So, like... But then again, I'm learning as, as I'm growing, you know, I, I've done different things to up my game in the business field. So, you know, I'm getting there, man. I won't be 
one, you know, uh, sub cookie, man. You know, we're going to be out here on game, man. We definitely going to make some millions in this entertainment game, man. We have we have to we have we have to, bro. We we that's what we like to do, man. I like you know, I like having the spotlight shining on me, bro, but not forcing it, but like, you know, who don't like the spotlight, bro? Like when people just decide to put a spotlight on you and just help you make some money, man. Who wouldn't love that, bro? You just I won't be I won't I, if they give me the spotlight, man, I won't be selfish with it, bro. Everybody know how, how I am, bro, man. We've we been feeding co the community, man. We've been doing it, bro. Like, I won't be like that, bro. I won't let the money change me, man. Yeah, man, I would, I would definitely love to have the spotlight on me. I'm going to bring that record to school. I'm going to play it for my friends after school. We're all hanging out. Wow. Dang, that's how life was back then. <laughs> Sheesh. But, yeah, man. Nowadays, bro. You will have a favorite song that you think is so dope at this at this time, and then you will go meet somebody else playing a whole different of dope record you've never heard before, <laughs> and then you will go back home talking about man, what was the title of the song? Type shit, you know, like it's a whole lot of stuff. Eating the back cover of it and seeing who played on it. These things meant something. What was on here meant something. Produced by John Burns and Genesis. It was music means something to people. I just like I listen to music to you know, hey, to you know, uh, to get freaky, man. I play music. I want to be juking the bad bitch. You know, like that's what I'm on. Like it don't mean I'm trying to get a bad bitch through music. Like you feel me? That's why I listen to music or even dance to music. You know, yeah, you know, tell It's important. What I'm saying is that music has basically become valueless. If you only have to pay ten ninety nine a month to have access to anything, what is one song worth? You know, people tell me that they want me to make certain kinds of videos. Mm -hmm. They have these aspirational ideas, as my friend Todd calls them. But then they ultimately vote with their attention. Rick, make more what makes a song great videos. Make this kind of video. Or I wish that people would write songs in odd meters or use these more complex chord changes. But you know, ultimately, people will do that and then they don't listen to them because you vote with your attention. So try this. Try to sit down just a couple times a week, play just a few songs. Don't look at your phone, or as I call it, the thought deletion device, because it empties your mind out. Don't look at TikTok. Don't look at YouTube or Twitter. Don't look at Instagram. Just listen to the music. Let it flow over you. Think about the lyrics. Think about the melody. And try to experience music like you used to. Or if you're young, try to experience music in the way that we used to. Love to know your thoughts. Hit the subscribe button. Sheesh. Okay, okay. I see where he is getting at. You know, I, I, I see where he's getting at. Yeah, man. You, we all know where he is getting at. I don't want to say too much, but yeah. Uh, yeah, he, he's been through life, and he know what he's talking about. He know he, he's seeing some changes in the game. And I'm also seeing some changes, man, because back then the music that was I was coming up to wasn't like the music I hear now. But hey, we can't change it. We can't, we can't do nothing about it. Yeah, man. But just, you know, um, do whatever we got to do. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? You know, like, y'all you, you, can tell I'm, I'm, a, I'm solid, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm solid, man. I'm getting money, man. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, man. Yeah, if y'all like this video, please, please let me know. Let me know what you like about this video. Let me know what you like about me. Let me know what you like about what I'm saying. You know, I'm I'm just uh, a YouTuber. You know, I, I don't have no beef with nobody. I don't want no beef with nobody. I'm just minding my business, man. And just giving y'all some dope videos. All right. Subscribe, bro. Subscribe. And leave a comment saying that you subscribe. For sure, I'm on social media, IG, you can find me, type my name in, 
skin type Kofi Intifu 24 or you can type Midas Kofi yeah man and don't forget the Rikis subscribe